Good morning, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. And I have such an amazing message today. I was actually moved uh, almost to tears that Spirit gave us such a beautiful message. We're going to be reading out of Asha 12 today. So if you got Asha, grab it. My friends, you know, I'm going to ask you to do something for me. Stay to the end of this one. And if you're new to this channel, it's not an accident you found us today. If you've been praying, God, I need a miracle. I need help. I need to understand this. My friends, by the end of this message, you're going to understand. You're going to be able to make an actual change in your life. You're going to actually be able to reach those dreams and goals and desires that you had where maybe you felt like, why is everyone else moving ahead but me? My friends, we're going to unlock that today. I want to talk about stories, the stories we tell ourselves. And my friends, since I was a child, I've seen the power of a story. You know, my parents, uh, they were in the Amway business. And no matter what you think of it, if you think it's the greatest thing ever, or absolute pyramid scheme, I'll tell you one thing about it. It makes a lot of money. And as a child, I grew up in a huge mansion on a lake with movie stars and actors all around us. We had Rolls Royces and Mercedes and BMWs and Range Rovers. And, and my friends, we had everything people dream of. And the funny thing about the Amway business is, is you don't go to school. Uh, you know, you, you don't go to a college to learn it, my friends. You take average ordinary people and you turn them in to business people. And I saw my dad do that by changing their story. You know, maybe one of the greatest examples I can remember was the diesel mechanic. And my dad turned him into a businessman. He went out and he bought him a new suit. And they would buy, at the time it was Cadillacs, was a real big thing. And they'd buy these Cadillacs for like $5,000. Uh, and they'd wax them up real nice. And, but it's the way it made them feel about themselves. He wasn't thinking about himself as a, a diesel mechanic, my friends. And he saw himself now as a businessman. When he went out at night, uh, to the meetings, he, he had a suit on, he, he had a fresh shaven face and, and his hair done and he pulled up in a, in a Cadillac, you know, and, and they'd all buy big gold watches and they'd get rings for their fingers and, and they started to change the story of who they were. When he went out, he wasn't a diesel mechanic, he, he was a business man and then he hung out with other businessmen, other successful people and they started reading books like Think and Grow Rich and How to Win Friends and Influence People and, and now they're, they're talking different, they look different and they're saying uh, different things and, and they sound educated and they sound smart and they look educated and they look smart and, and they're impressing the people that they're coming in contact with, they're changing their story, their image of themselves. They're changing the story of their future. Be before, uh, for a vacation, maybe they thought, you know, we're going to go to grandma and grandpa's again with the kids. But now they're, they're changing the story of the future. We're, we're going to go to Hawaii. And I'll never forget, my friends, I can still remember these stories so vividly as a kid because I started dreaming about it. And Dad would sit down with his guys and tell them, you know what, guys, one day we're all going to be sitting in Hawaii by the pool and we're going to have a banana boat. Do you know what that is? He said they'll take a pineapple and they cut it in half. They're going to fill it with ice cream and then they're going to put chocolate all over it and then whipped cream and a cherry and we're going to be sitting around the pool laughing and laying in the sun and then our, our wives, they're going to be in the spa and they're going to be treated like queens, my friends, getting massages and, and pedicures and their hair done. And, and, and before he might have talked about his old lady, but now he's talking about his, his queen. And, and the kids are going to be out having surf lessons and, and, and playing in the waves. And, and they, they could just picture it and they could taste that banana boat, my friends, and hanging out with their friends. And, and my friends, you, you start to tell a different story of, of who you are and, and what the future is going to be like. And, and you start to believe it, my friends, and then you start calling it in. If you can believe the stories you tell yourself, you can have it. And I've seen it, my friends. I've seen Dad transform 
people into millionaires uh, and it didn't make sense on paper, but they changed the stories they were telling themselves. I see this uh, in the negative before. You know, one of my favorite stories is about the reporter and she, she wondered if the, the guards, the, the Nazi guards had a change of heart and there wasn't many left you know they're old they're getting into their 80s and she tracked one down and she said with all the museums now and all the truth about the atrocities that happened in these concentration camps the ovens where they burn millions of people and the little baby's shoes the little kids shoes lined up where they slaughtered the children and she said do you repent of it do you do you wish you hadn't done it do you see the error of your ways now and he said no I don't because I did it for God and I did it for country he, he thought he was a patriot that's the story he told himself because they sold it to him so well I am a soldier right I'm doing it for God I'm doing it for my country you know the Fuhrer was proud of me my parents patted me on the head and said good job my friends they, they took those children those Nazi soldiers and they raised them up in this mentality and it became their truth their story you, you know you see it on uh, smaller levels all the time I think of with myself oh, I, I got a black motorcycle and I went out and got a black leather jacket and I felt badass you know and, and my kids said oh dad's going through a midlife crisis I said no no I'm a badass you know and kids keep you honest you know but we do that with everything you go out and you buy a boat Right, and now you're a you're a fisherman. You even talk like a pirate a little bit when your wife's not around because it pisses her off and embarrasses her, you know. But we we tell ourselves these stories and we get into these ideas. We mean to we need to make sure we're telling the right stories. And my friends, inside of us is what we call a fravashi, a divine spark that holds the truth, the word, my friends. And when we start speaking from that place. That's when magic and miracles happen. When we start saying, I am divine life. I come from good spirit. I'm made of good spirit. I'll return to good spirit. When we start saying things like, I'm divine love and light, my friends, we, we start acting a different way. We start creating a different world. When we say, I'm divine health, sickness and disease dies when it touches me. My friends, we all know about the what they call the placebo effect. I don't care what you call it, as long as it works, as long as it makes me whole and well, and, and, and my body's functioning and feeling good, and, I, and people might be getting sick all around me, but I ain't getting sick. I don't care if you call it placebo. You know, hey, I'm well, I'm strong, I'm powerful, I'm rich, I'm free. My friends, we start living from that place because why? We are children of the king and we won't accept anything less how do you see yourself what stories have you been told have you been lied to you'll never amount to anything you'll never be anything your grandparents and parents were broke maybe your grandparents and parents died of sickness and disease so it's in your genes there's nothing you can do about it that is a lie my friends you have the genes and DNA of the Almighty God and Creator your divine life and divine health you're powerful you're free you are a creator just like your daddy and you can do anything you want oh my god turn to asha 12 it says there's nothing for me outside i've spent too long looking outside myself looking for meaning purpose affirmation approval love truth happiness and god just to find myself ever searching so get this right here my friends this is it so i quiet all the many thoughts and ideas and stories you got to quiet the stories that you've been told the lies about yourself you need to tell a new story my friends even if you don't believe it yet start speaking it start hanging out with people like you want to be reading the books of how you want to be thinking how you want to be dreaming about how you want to be change who you are my friends with a new story and then it says and then I go inside inside that heart of hearts my friend inside of you is a book written by the creator himself not by men not by wrong ideas can't be messed with my friends god knew what he was doing when he made you he put a book inside of you it's not called the bible the quran the gita there's a book inside of you that cannot be altered it says i go inside and there 
I see Jesus, Seoshant, Truth, Asha, the original word. What is the original word? It's the perfect creator's perfect idea of what this world is and who you are. The perfect creator didn't have an idea of a world that's just survival of the fittest, of competition, of hate and fear and greed, sickness, disease, suffering, death, hell, my friends. He didn't see you as a loser just trying to scrape by. The perfect creator has a perfect idea of who you are and how your world's supposed to be. Why don't you just come into alignment with that story? Let the other stories go and watch your life change. It says, then you realize there's no separation from your good, your God. God and good are the same things, my friends. It says you are one and all the truth, all the happiness you're looking for, it's available to you right now, my friends. Flip over to Asha 15 real quick. I think that'll bring it in perfectly. You're going to love this. And my friends, this is everything. People always want to be uh, awakened, enlightened, born again, saved. You want to be saved. Listen to this. This is all you have to do. It says, tell the truth. Well, what's the truth? A lot of people have different ideas of truth. Maybe something that your own eyes and ears and senses are telling you is the truth. That you can never get ahead, right? It, you have proof. You're not ahead yet. My friends, that's lie and illusion. There's a truth inside of you. And you're going to start speaking that truth. You're going to start daydreaming about that truth. You're going to only think that truth, my friends. It says giving true witness, a man will be saved. Speaking from this place, that original word that's buried in your heart, you're going to be saved. Not just on a spiritual level, on a physical level. You remember Asha 13 says, because when our spiritual world gets right, our material world comes into order. It's cosmic law, my friends. It says, only think and speak truth to yourself and it will form. Only tell the highest stories, my friend, and that's what's going to form in our world. It says, think God's highest idea of truth, Asha, and live. Live for the first time, my friends, when you start speaking from that place. It says, keep the power of truth in mind. My God, I showed you in these stories the power of truth, how a diesel mechanic turned into a businessman, how, how just a child turned into a, a heartless killer because he saw himself as, as a soldier, right? My friends, what stories are you telling yourself? There's power in our stories. Keep the power of truth in mind, the highest truth that we find in our hearts. And it says, make it your model. Model yourself after the all good God. And my friends, that's the message of the Magi. That's the message of our whole channel here. We restore God's image. Zoroastrianism is the original monotheistic religion that all the other religions branched off of. And they messed it up, my friends. And I'll tell you why. Because in Zoroastrianism, God is all good. He can't hate. He can't get jealous. He can't make you fear him. He can't kill men, women, and children. He can do no evil spirit things. He doesn't send evil. He's light, and there's no darkness. He's love, and there's no hate. He's a creator, and there's no destruction. But my friends, people have taken and mixed evil spirit attributes and good spirit attributes, and they call that God. My friends, I'll tell you, I went to Bible college, and I was blown away by the stories they told me. The story of Jephthah. He told Jehovah, if I go in and wipe out the whole nation, man, woman, child, puppy dog, they burned it all, my friends. I'll come home, and I'll sacrifice to you the first person that walks out of my door. His daughter came out. Daddy's home. Said She, she had a tambourine and was singing, Daddy's home. You lived. You made it. He slit her throat and offered it up as a burnt sacrifice to Jehovah. And my friends, here in the West, that's our holy book. My friends, man will never rise above his highest idea of God good. As long as his God good gets off on people offering up their children as burnt sacrifices. In that Bible, they would stone their children for being disrespectful. What would that look like? My friends, hearing your babies cry, Daddy, I'm sorry. Mommy, I won't do it again. And they bash their brains out with a rock. My friends, have you ever seen someone die? It's not pretty. Imagine your own babies. My friends, we need to wake up. The stories we hear, if we saw them on the news today, we would lose our minds. The story about Abraham and Isaac. 
taking his son up to offer him as a sacrifice to God. If you saw this on the news, you would say that person is insane. But yet we call that our Bible, our holy book. And man has not rise above his idea of God in his holy book. But thank God the Creator put a holy book right here, my friends. And they tell you, oh no, don't ever go in there. You might get deceived by a devil. But I tell you, oh no, my friends, you're going to find God good because God is in you and God is around you. And my friends, in truth, God and man are one and cannot be separated. All you got to do is start telling that true story again. Start speaking things like, I am divine life. I am divine love. I am peace. I am joy. I am kind. I am just like my daddy. And my friends, you're going to start to vibrate different. Your spiritual life is going to come into order. And the material world is going to come in to order. We're going to change this world back to the original word, back to Jesus, to Zarathustra, to Vohu Menu, the God mind, the good mind. And we're going to create from that place, my friends, and we're going to see a beautiful evolution take place like you've never seen. My friends, if you like what we do here, Asha by Winston Head, get it. All the money goes to charity, and I want to give a big fat check to Shriners this next time, and I'm excited. I want to do it quick. Get this book, share this book, memorize this book, and let's change this world and know that I love you. I love you. I love you.